So we've got a question from David. Uh, David asks a question that I get a lot. And actually, if you're confused, welcome to the club. We all are. And it relates to battery isolators, right? So what's the concept of a battery isolator? Battery isolator is really a way for a alternator. And if you look at this diagram, it's right here. The alternator is right here. And the alternator, notice how I'm using actually directional arrows to sort of convey that the current is going one way with a battery isolator. You'll notice the current is coming from the alternator into the battery isolator. Now in turn, this battery isolator takes that power that comes from the alternator and it sends it one way to the engine battery and another way to the house battery. Now, a lot of people think, um, and they're mistaken, they think that that battery isolator somehow regulates the voltage coming from their alternator to multiple battery banks. And that it's individually manipulating the voltage and saying, oh, my engine battery needs this voltage, my house battery needs voltage, and it's modifying. A battery isolator does not do that. It doesn't. It's a device that can share the current from the alternator to multiple battery banks, but it doesn't do so intelligently in a way where it's modifying the voltage to each battery bank. It can't. It's not that sophisticated. It's not a computer, right? It's basically like in plumbing, it's like a gate valve. It basically allows neither the engine battery nor the house battery to see one another. And have a look here on the diagram, and this is really interesting. Notice how the arrows, right? The arrows are directional. There is no way for the house battery to be able to see the engine battery or from the engine battery to be able to see the house battery because the current goes alternator into the isolator and then isolator goes to the engine battery and then goes to the house battery. So when you're installing a battery isolator, effectively, if your batteries have different chemistry and one of them is flooded and the other one is AGM, you're gonna have to decide on your alternator if, a, if it has an external regulator, you're gonna have to decide, am I gonna charge to AGM? Am I gonna charge to flooded? Am I going in the middle? But you're gonna have to make a decision because that alternator can only charge to one charge profile. And a battery isolator will not manipulate the voltage. It will allow both batteries to get a charging voltage. They can't see each other, but it's not manipulating the voltage, it's just sharing the voltage. If you're looking at actually having a battery get a different voltage than another battery, you're talking about a DC to DC charging converter. Victron makes them, they're really great. Uh, we're gonna have a whole new video on that and that's a separate thing, but a battery isolator does not manipulate voltage and it only allows it to share it. So there you go. Thank you for watching this uh, PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask it below or contact us on our contact form on our website. I'm happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping our channel ad-free by purchasing some merch on our store or making a donation through PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.